Welcome back to the 5x10 camper build. Haven't made my mind up if it's going to be a teardrop or a square drop. I just made my mind up I'm building a trailer and I'm ready to get rolling with this thing. So, as you remember, this is a pipe top trailer and uh, all along the side that had the rails it came up about a foot and had the pipe top on it down this side across front and down that side. So we've taken all that off. Of course, you remember we painted the wheels last video, and they had a couple of stanchions still poked, uh, standing up, like right there in the corner with the fender and the rail. I cut that one off. And today we cut off a piece of pipe. Well, it's not pipe. It's flat bar from right along here. This piece used to stick out. Just like this. And that was for the uh, 2x6s to, to lay on. It's really not necessary to have that on there. My thoughts were if I got to add metal to it, I probably should take some metal off too. As long as it doesn't interfere with the integrity of the, of the structure. So I'll use that. When, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to lengthen the, the tongue of the trailer up there. See where it's right about there. Yeah, where the crank up jack is. Gonna lengthen that by a foot is my plan. And then uh, what we'll do next for, I got the fan going, so it's probably a little bit noisy in here, but I'll show you why I got it going in here. You see that? That's 100 degrees in here in the shade in the shop with the fan on. And I think the last video I was talking about, there were dents in the top of the fenders. You can see on that fender there, it's out. And then the top of this one here, it's not perfect, but I can put a spread of bondo in there and use a long sander to uh, plane it out where it looks decent. And then the next thing we'll do. So I'll take some of this old angle iron. This was uh, right here. Right there like that. I'll take this little U-bolt off of it and I'll roll them along here on the trailer. So that the camper sits flush here. What you don't want is to have your camper sitting flush on that. Because moisture and dirt will get up in here and moisture will stay under here. And it's just a recipe for a problem. Uh, Armadillo Junction will tell you that. I learned that from him. Don't don't set it down in in there. And I mean, it's, it seems like a great idea to have it cradled like that, but it's not. It doesn't uh, work out for you. The wire stuck to the tripod. Kind of use the tripod so it won't make him seasick. Woo -hoo! All right, see that checker thing? The guy that I got this trailer from told me that he has a 2018 King Ranch and I have a 2019 Lariat. He said that all I have to do is, uh, well I can't remember what he told me, I was in a hurry. But anyway, what that does is your camera focuses on the black checkers and helps you successfully load the trailer easily. Okay, that's pretty good. Now. Uh, if I can get this tongue successfully scooted out a foot, that'll give me nearly 36 inches of space between here and there. And plus makes my trailer a foot longer, which would be a little bit easier to park. You probably won't notice the difference. And I want to put new wires on for the tail lights. And I'm not sure yet if I'm going to keep those tail light brackets yet or not. We will see. I'll get further down the road and find out that. They don't rock my world <coughs> or suit my liking. Then we can change them out. But right now they're staying. So, um, yeah, I get my brackets welded on all along here. Let's see where the camera go all along down the side like that. And then I'll probably put some rubber strips on there for the camper to sit on. 
and um, that'll give a little bit more longevity and sand the trailer down and put a nice coat of paint on it so uh, that's pretty much it for today like I said it's a hundred degrees I'm gonna go take a quick shower and a, maybe jump in the swimming pool y'all hang in there for the next episode of building the 5x10 micro camper <laughs>